Has it ever happened to you that you knew that you were capable of so many things but there was this anxiety, there was this chronic worry that prevented you from achieving your goals? Has it ever happened to you that you knew you had the potential inside you but because of this anxiety you were not able to make it translate into real life performance? Has it ever happened to you that you prepared so well, you prepared so well, you did everything you could to prepare for an exam but at the last day something happened on the exam day something happened that you were not able to do it as well and this all was all connected to anxiety well if that is you congratulations this video is just for you i was a person just like that until two three years back when i figured out a way to beat test the anxiety to, to beat that anxiety and take it out of my life and after you after i took out that anxiety in my life my performance skyrocketed i'm not even kidding i was a person who was not performing that well but after i started doing these things that i'm gonna talk to you about in this video my life was so much better i was able to perform so much better so uh, first let me just introduce myself right my name is manik madan i am a junior doctor from kim's medical college bangalore india and if you had to make a movie about my life it would be a movie of chronic anxiety frustration and worry and right now that's not the case but if you were to make that <laughs> that would be the case so <laughs> so let's just start with my story so i have been an anxious kid from the start i have been this kid who always cried before his exams i was a kid who was always so so much worried that if what if this does not happen what if i fail what if i don't make it through would my life be over that that's been me like my whole life until two two three years back so what changed and we'll talk about that this was me in my high school, this was me in my medical college, some stories from my medical college. So in my first year of medical college, uh, I remember that I prepared so so well, I remember studying every single day. I remember like I even had good performance on my tests. But when my final exams came, uh, what actually happened was I was so worried that I was not gonna make it because my anxiety always tends to get me and that I might even fail my first year. I was so worried about that, that I prepared so, so well for first year. However, what happened was during that preparation, like the last, I think month of my first year, during the preparation for my exams, I, we were given just one month. And I remember I got so anxious and so like chronically depressed that when I used to eat my breakfast, I used to vomit it out. I'm not even kidding. I could not eat breakfast. I could not contain anything. I used to eat. I tried to eat my lunch. I used to vomit it out. Like that's how anxious I was. I was so anxious that I used to talk to my friend, like who at the time was preparing for first year too. And I used to make him so worried, like, you know, bro, are we going to pass this? Like, what if we fail? That guy became so worried that we used to vomit together. <laughs> Even that guy, when he tried to eat his breakfast, he, he used to vomit it out because he was so worried. Like, that's how anxious I was. I was making people around me anxious. My first anatomy exam, I was not able to perform well. So my first year exams, I was not able to perform well because of this anxiety. What really happened was, I remember you know, trying to go to sleep just 10 hours before my exam i was like okay so let's just take this time out and i'll make sure that i'll sleep for this exam however when i went and you know just try to sleep on my bed sleep wouldn't come so hours passed the first hour the second hour the third hour the fourth hour the fifth hour the sixth hour right i could not sleep all i could just think of was like oh my god there's this exam coming and if i fail this i would not be promoted to second year and i have to stay in this thing called an odd batch so an odd batch like in our college is this middle batch where people who fail are uh, put in that and you have to pass and then you just become part of this odd batch where all the people who failed first year are and you have to continue in that odd batch so that was pretty worrisome for me because i don't want to get stuck in a small batch of people so that kind of thought kept coming on to me and trust me right i wasn't able to sleep then i went and tried to give my exam so i was so so dizzy for this exam that i wasn't i, I was worried that i'd write my name wrong i, had, I was worried that i'd my, write my roll number wrong but I didn't end up writing them wrong. I just, yeah, so I'm happy about that. But that exam didn't go as well, right? And I got so worried that 
I would fail that I called my dad and I was like dad I might fail on this exam I was crying my dad was like it's okay don't worry about it whatever happens happens I'll just focus for the next exam that was that was that for it but I still remember I was so depressed I had another exam coming so I couldn't afford to be depressed but I was at that time but I somehow made it through at the same time I wasn't like the maximum amount of sleep I was able to get for all exams was just like three to four hours because of my anxiety in the end I did not end up scoring as well as I wanted to I wanted to score at least like an 80, 80 to 85 percent and I ended up scoring like 72 percent right however I had worked as hard as for that 85 percent or 80 percent so it's fine right I did not end up scoring that well the same thing happened in second year in second year I knew Knew, uh, when the exams came in second year I knew that I would not be able to sleep because of my anxiety it would keep me up so what I did was I didn't sleep for any exam what I actually did was the whole night before the exam I used to study in the study room so when I used to go for the exam I was sleepy as hell like sleepy as hell so my exams didn't go well again because again Right. If you don't sleep well for your exams, you won't be able to think and the same thing happened. I was only able to grab like two to three hours of sleep after my exams it ended in like in the afternoon and then study for the next exam. It was pretty much hell because I couldn't sleep because of this anxiety in my like in me that if I fail right in second year, what's going to happen? I can't afford that. But this all came to an end when I came into my third year. In my third year, I was like manic. I need to find a fix for this because if I do not find a fix for this my life is going to be hell like I'm gonna be like working hard my whole life and it would not translate into good performance in the end and then I started reading these books I started accumulating all these self-help books going through all of them I started doing meditation these kind of things and finally I hit the jackpot so after that I found out this way to not get anxious on my exam I could sleep and so my third year in my third year I scored pretty well I aced my all my exams in my fourth year I aced all my exams in NEET PG so that is the Indian exam for residency and I ended up scoring a pretty decent rank of 4000 and with that too without preparing I ended up scoring USMLE score of 260 and during my internship that was amazing right so now let's get to the root of this anxiety where is this anxiety coming from before your test day the main cause of this anxiety is basically you being very outcome oriented so so most of us are like very much outcome or, uh, oriented what do i mean by that is that we really concerned on results we are always about that if like we need to achieve this result the problem with being so much outcome oriented or result oriented is that there is this thought that comes to our head that what if we can't what if we fail in achieving that outcome and when that thought comes to our head that makes us so so anxious right because we have this uncertainty of whether it will happen or not and we literally place our own worth on it if it doesn't happen we say that we are failures right so that so, so, so the main reason that anxiety comes is because you fear us you fear that your outcome won't happen the outcome that, that you want and this fear is a fear of failure now how do we tackle that how do we make sure this doesn't happen so the main reason that anxiety comes from is basically you have this fear of failure this anxiety ends up ruining your exam this anxiety ends up ruining the, the task that you want to do how it does that is when you're anxious your fight and flight system gets activated once your fight and flight system gets activated you are totally in survival mode and when you are in survival mode or fight or flight mode you cannot think because just think about it if you are running in a jungle and a lion is chasing you a lion or a tiger and you're running for your life would you be able to do a maths equation at that time just answer that for me if you're smart you know the answer again just think about it when you're in danger or fight or flight you cannot think and when you cannot think your performance suffers so the main thing that happens is that anxiety activates fight or flight system and then you cannot think how do we tackle this so the first step is to become process oriented rather than outcome oriented 
focus on the process rather than the outcome you fall in love with the process you fall in love with the process of learning you fall in the fall in love with the process of studying you fall in love with the process of seeing videos on the subjects that you love you you will fall in love with the process of solving mcqs you fall in love with the process of participating in quizzes you fall in love with the process of doing whatever you want to do once you fall in love with the process that's when magic will start happening for you when we are outcome oriented we get anxious so the only thing you need to understand is that you cannot control the outcome i cannot control the outcome we have no control of the outcome since we have no control of the outcome it is probable that some of the times we can fail some of the exams you might not end up doing well but that's not under your control even if you work your hardest sometimes it just doesn't happen but it's fine that's that's something you cannot control so focus on what you can do what you can do is the process most of the journey in your life is not the outcome it is the process so start doing stop doing those what ifs this does not happen and start looking onto the process accept that chance that failure might happen that you might end up failing and even if you end up failing life is not going to suck after failing it's not that your life is going to get over it's not that you know your dreams are not going to come true there are so many things get start working again if you really don't want to do it again right there are so many other things to do i'll give you an example i hope you know about this woman like she's a billionaire her name is sara blakely and she has her own company called spanx which has revolutionized the women's fashion industry and she has failed the sack twice i'm not kidding she's failed the sack twice however she's a billionaire when you end up failing that doesn't just don't tie it to your worth don't say i'm not worthy don't say i'm a failure because failure is not the end of life your life is still going to be awesome after failure once you have that acceptance of failure right then that anxiety automatically goes away the second thing you can do then is the step to a beating test day anxiety is meditation i cannot emphasize this point enough that how much meditation has helped me and like it has literally changed my life so the thing that happens with meditation is when you close your eyes you kind of dissociate from your body and you kind of see your life in an eagle's point of view like how is your life going that kind of gives you clarity on what's happening in your life and then you can kind of once you get that clarity you can take action on that the second thing meditation does is it helps you focus so what happens is we all have these thoughts of failure we all have these thoughts of you know all like you know what's happening in our social life what's happening on instagram what happened with your friends right? what happened uh, in the school so all these thoughts keep on going in our head and the one way to get rid of these thoughts is meditation because what meditation does is it helps you focus when you just quieten yourself and just sit there for 10 minutes just concentrating in the now not thinking about anything else that kind of trains your focus right and that kind of takes out those those thoughts in your head and you can get them out so it kind of clears the garbage in your head it helps you focus massively the third thing meditation does is turns off your fight and flight system so once your fight and flight system is turned off you can think right and once you can think you can perform so i meditation has been one of the best things that happened to my life and right now i have like i've had two years of meditation every single day and it is mind blowing try it out i promise you that your performance will go up after meditation so in the end let's just summarize all of this the first point is that the anxiety that you get before the test day is because you are too outcome oriented you have this fear of failure in your head and that if you fail you don't know what will happen to your life that uncertainty can, like makes anxiety the only way to beat that is to number 1 be okay with failure right if you end up in that exam if you fail that's fine love the process not the outcome second thing to do about that is try to do meditation it helps massively it will turn off your fight and flight system awesome to do right thank you for watching this guys have fun mm -hmm.